connected note taking on things like Google Drive or OneDrive or any other cloud based system that you might be using sets up your files so that you can access them wherever you can log in. And that of course is connected because all of your files are not just confined to only being accessible on one device. It's not stored just locally there. It's also stored in the cloud. So whichever device you're logging in on, wherever you are in the world, provided you have an internet connection, you can log in and get hold of your notes. And any edits that you make will also sync across all of those devices. And then what we mean when we say connected note taking is coming into an even finer level of detail and thinking about the connections between the knowledge and information that you actually have saved in your files and folders. And traditionally, the way that you take notes is open up a document, type out all the information, maybe you copy paste it, maybe you add a hyperlink to the source into your notes page, but then that's kind of it. You save that file, you think about which folder makes most sense for it to go in and you save it there. But what it actually misses is capturing if any of the information that you have just saved in that file in that one folder could be useful somewhere else in another project that you might be working on. And at this level, what connected note taking does is it saves that relationship. So you can have your notes and you can save it in one particular folder, but then you can add connections or links to any of the other places in your system that the knowledge that you have in that note could be useful for. And it's these relationships that we're talking about when we say connected note taking. And one of the first steps you can take to start adding those relationships and not limiting your knowledge to just one folder and one location is to start using tags or labels or categories. They're called a different thing, whichever app you happen to be on. But what you do is you, you know, save your file in one place and you can add these tags to create a link between that file and any other folders or topics that you've added within your system. So you get your information organized in the traditional folder file type system but then you can also click on one of these tags and see information from a whole variety of different locations within your system that is relevant to that tag, which saves you a huge amount of time because you haven't got to trawl through a bunch of folders looking for a specific selection of files which could be saved in any number of places for that information that you're looking for. In addition to making use of tags, you can also add direct links between two of your files or notes. This creates a specific and direct connection between those two files wherever they are located in your system. And in contrast to hyperlinks, these links are bi-directional. There's a two-way link. So whichever note you happen to be in, you will always be able to see the connection to the other note. That really is the tip of the iceberg of what these systems allow you to do. As you become familiar with tagging and adding bi-directional links between your files, you may start to notice that a problem emerges. The information that led you to add the link or tag can be hidden somewhere amongst a lot of other information inside your file or note. And so yeah, what this next generation of note-taking tools allows you to do is create your note, but then you can also grab sentences, short sections, and then you can tag each section individually. And so you're kind of short-circuiting the whole process in that, you know, previously, as I just described, you'd have a whole file that you'd then need to browse through to find the particular section or chunk of information that was relevant to the topic that the whole file had been tagged to. When you go to that tag pertaining to a particular topic, you have all of the little sections from however many files all collated in one place. So you've got all of that most relevant information collected together, ready to go. And so getting started can be a bit overwhelming with this whole new way of thinking about how you organize information. But the good news is that you can generally follow a very similar system to what you might be used to with folders and files, and then kind of add an extra layer on top to bring in that next level of connectivity and that ability to focus in on those small details.